Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, last time we tackled Treasure Trove Cove and pretty much had the episode of Interruptions. This time we're going to move on to the next level and hopefully have a bit of a smoother recording. Uh, with all that being said, let's jump right into it. So back here where we unlock Treasure Trove Cove, we actually have Clanker's Cavern hanging out. So we couldn't get up here because we didn't have the shock jump from Treasure Trove Cove. Now that we do... We can open Clanker's Cavern. And there should be... No, there's no... Okay, here we go. Here's some text. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. Well, let's do that. That's going to save us a lot of time. Oh, Clanker's Cavern. What to say about Clanker's Cavern. There is so much that could be said about Clanker's Cavern. Um, Starting with water level couldn't tell by the cavern or the picture with the water in it it's a water level in every sense um, so clanker's caverns up here this should also be giving you hints about uh, it being a water level oh boy all right it's it's not a bad level I think once you get used to it but it's definitely something that destroys newcomers uh, there is something I want to do before I well before we enter no after we enter actually um, so we're just gonna keep on cruising. You jump over here. There is a switch that I'm gonna hit. Uh, this is just gonna queue up for the end of the episode where we're gonna go uh, ex do a little bit of exploring, just just because. All right, now let's let's check out Clanker's Cavern, shall we? I I like this level. Don't get me wrong, I like this level. It's just stressful sometimes. I also like the music. So um, let's read the text and then I'll let you listen. Just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. Alright, just enjoy the music. Everything about this level music just makes me really feel like it's it fits. Um, we got these guys who jump out of the walls. What you want to do is you just want to rat-a-tat rap as you get to them. You don't want to wait for them to pop out. Um, new type of feather here. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. Yeah, so um, we're going to have to talk to Bottles to use one of those golden feathers, as they've been widely dubbed. That's what most people call them. Um, so yeah, just make sure you go up on those pipes, because they do hold musical notes. And up here is a Jinjo. So make sure you, you uh, go to all these untapped locations. I gotta double check. Okay, yeah, there's nothing over here. Into the water we go. For the first first bit of swimming. Uh, this is where you always want to remember that you can hold in right to get really tight swim turns. This is the level where that knowledge is invaluable. Bzz, I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water, want fresh air. So let's talk about this real quick. This is Clanker. He looks very shark-like, I think we can agree. Let me surface for a moment, get some air. Look look below me, that is a blowhole, right? So, oh, he must be just a funky looking whale. Those are gills. So I want to know, what is Clanker? Alright, that, that's my question for you. He's a weird robot garbage disposal thing. We know that. That's not what I'm asking. Because if, if you answer that, it's going to be like, well, obviously, that's what he says. But he also says he wants fresh air, right? So that suggests he breathes through the blowhole. The gills are aesthetic. But at the same time, the gills move with his breathing, and you can enter through them? There's a lot of questions happening. So down here, there's a few things to do. Um, so the first thing is, this is Gloop the fish. He spawns bubbles. Gloop is your best friend. Bubbles refill air. So keep a good eye on him. There are There's a ring of music notes down here. I swear, Rareware designed this area just to spite people. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Yeah. This area is the reason that, uh, <laughs> that I, I wish I was playing the 360 version right now. Because as we've discussed in Treasure Trove Cove... Dying means losing all your notes. And, um, yeah. Drowning 
is insta-death. You run out of air, you're done. You're pretty low down, so you can't resurface for air. And gloop is a little unpredictable. I mean, like, you can learn what he, like, everything about his movement. He's just really unpredictable and really hard to grab his bubbles sometimes. He's tricky. It's okay, though. With a little bit of practice, you can get this down. This is the part that kills everyone. You gotta swim through here three times. And again, holding R is really your friend because it make, lets you take these tight turns to turn right around and just swim through. And that's going to release cl Clanker. So you have to come down here regardless to beat this level. It doesn't matter if you're getting all the notes or not. In order to beat this level, you need to come down here to raise Clanker because the majority of it involves it. We'll say that much. Um, I'm going to pause real quick. We do have the Green Jinjo, which is down here. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Oh, crap. We're cutting it close. We're cutting it mighty close. We're cutting it mighty close. I think we'll just narrowly make it if we don't screw up surfacing. Surface! Okay. The camera's fighting me a lot today. Um, so let it be known that uh, this will reset if you don't grab the Jiggy. So right here, right now, we're going to climb up on his fin. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna grab the jiggy um, just just to be safe uh, bzz, clanker's teeth hurt now eat too much garbage help clanker yeah clanker is a problematic shark thing shark whale I think he's referred to as a whale later I still don't get why we're not actually going to do his teeth right now. We're not going to fix that yet, because um, there's more to do while we're on the back of Clanker. You can actually run up his tail. And jump over here. And there is... I missed. There's a Jiggy. Lots of fun. It's not too bad. You can come over here and red tat tap it. I don't know, I just felt like hitting it with eggs. And right below here... There is a single one of these guys, and a uh, mumbo token as well as some music notes, so, yeah. A lot of this level is either on the outside or in the middle. There, There's no, like, real in-between when it comes to Clanker's Cavern. You're going one place or the other a lot of the time. Oh, I fell. Um, there is more underwater stuff, so, like, don't get too comfortable, but at the same time, you can... Ease off a little bit. What do I want to do? Uh, I guess I'm just going to do like the outskirts of the level for right now. Uh, starting with this mysterious pipe. I could not find this for the life of me when I first played this game. But up in this pipe, there's an empty honeycomb piece. Do not miss it if you're going for 100%. It's the most elusive honeycomb piece, I think. I'm trying to think of one that like is I guess I guess the one in a uh, treasure trove also is pretty sneaky. And I mean they're all meant to be well hidden, but I don't know. Just like in general, that honeycomb piece is really going to get people. This Jinjo is also well hidden. There's a Jinjo hiding this pipe. There's also some blue eggs if you slide down the inside. But on the outside there's music notes, so, you know. Also over yonder um, if we ground pound this, the second honeycomb. So we've just gotten both honeycombs in the level. And because we got both of them in the last two levels, we got six and got a new piece of our health bar. Um, oh, there is another thing to do around the edge, isn't there? Um, just up on Clanker here, right? So we went over there. Oh, right, 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 okay. I was looking at that, I'm like, where did that come from? I don't remember that part. Yes, I do. Okay, Clanker's Cavern's probably one of my more iffy parts of uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Not, not because, like, it's... I guess not because it's hard, per se, just because, like... It's good at being very spread out. Which sounds weird, but, like... It just kind of like it spreads everything all the way around the level. You got to know like every nook and cranny to really 
be able to have this stage memorized. So, um, Clanker was complaining about his teeth, so what we want to do is, you see that golden tooth? We just want to try to shoot it with blue eggs. We need three hits. So, um, we gotta wait for him to bob up. There we go, and it falls in. Ah, this tooth not hurt now. And there's another one on the other side, but if we actually go to where the tooth fell in... We'll grab a, a mumbo token, and we'll come back in here in a moment. Ah, oh, man. I, I think it's always worth asking what Clanker is, always. Because, like, he's just a strange creature. But I think I appreciate him all the same, so thank you, Clanker. A toothache this side gone. Clanker swallowed reward. Teeth all better now. Thank you, bear. If you actually listen to what Clanker's voice is, it, uh, it's just banjo. Slowed way down. It's really cool stuff if you uh, ever want to look into it. So here, inside of Clanker's mouth. Snippets and music notes. Man. This game, this game's really full of just like weird stuff, but it's awesome kind of weird stuff, you know? It's, it's got that rareware charm to it. And I, I want to talk about that more, because as thus far I've been doing a lot of explaining about, okay, you go here, then you go here, and it's been really like a guide. And I would, I'm totally down to make like guide videos, but I don't know. I feel like I just start droning when I'm, when I'm talking about what you got to do, um, in general, you know? I'm like, okay, then this is here, for instance, this hoop hurry thing. I, mean, I guess not not the hoop hurry, but you'd swim swim and jump through hoops. Like, I could have droned on about that, but I don't know if that's really what needs to be heard or said, you know? It's I, I feel like I, I, I can't play through this game and not gush about how creative it is and awesome it is, because it's got a whole lot of rareware magic to it. It's one of those games that just is charming no matter what year you play it in. I think it's got plenty more years in its life. It, it's a game that doesn't die. Um, as long as you're into platformers, this game should be wonderful and a great experience for you. Um, grab more invulnerability feathers just because they're there. Let's grab this Jiggy real quick. I don't know. Like, every little thing, even this Jiggy Jig. Do-do, do-do, go. Like, everything about that is just awesome. It's just, I don't know, it's, it like brings the characters alive without them having to say much of anything. They're, they're not silent protagonists by any means. They're, there's text for both Banjo and Kazooie that gives them personality. But, like, when you're playing, there don't, doesn't need to be some complicated motivation and subtle lines. Because everything is conveyed through their actions. By the way, this is where you enter and exit through one of Clanker's gills. Just to clarify, there's there's your entry exit through his gills, which leads to his ribs, but there's no lungs in here. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, like even the way they move and stuff, Banjo and Kazooie just like conveys their personality, and it's it's awesome. I really like it. This this is a game I could totally gush about, and everything's so clear and unique and awesome. There's the purple Jinjo, or pink Jinjo, I guess. Am I swimming up out of here? I am. Okay. You can get real disoriented. That's the other gill. Um, yeah. Um, not on this side, on that side. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like part of it's... Part of it's the characters, part of it's the design, part of it's the levels, part of it's the art, part of it is just everything, alright? This game's just right. The gameplay feels good, the level design's fun, the music's wonderful. The, this soundtrack is one of the soundtracks I would just put on, just because. I, this, I could just listen to Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack. Um, but we gotta interrupt my little rant here to uh, talk to Bottles. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. 
Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers, and you can only carry ten of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. So, um... You can walk, and these cutters are doing nothing to us. Um, and that's awesome. Golden feathers and vulnerability feathers, they're referred to as both, you just saw that. But, that is a jiggy right there. The cool thing, alright, this is this is gonna be one of my few speedrunning tricks that I'm gonna talk about from now on, because I want to ease off of those. I talked a lot about them in the first two episodes, and I want to ease off, but this one's really cool. See this little right seam here that Kazooie's uh, toe is on? If you walk down the seam, you don't get hurt by these things. It's timed perfectly so you mi they miss you if you walk down right here on this seam. Don't, I'm not sure why, but it just kind of happens. They're spaced perfectly where if you talent trot down it, you do not get hit. So that's, that's fun. That's always a good time if you want to save gold feathers. And gold feathers are really valuable tools, so absolutely worth it. Um, we've pretty much done everything we need to do in Clanker for the most part. That, that is that is Clanker. There's one other piece we're going to do, but you can see what I mean by, like, it's either in Clanker, you know, in, in the center or on the rim. Because there's nothing really in the water anymore. It's all against the walls, just about. Um, and then there's one more thing in Clanker. It's, it's very focused, this level. So, um, this right here, Clanker's Blowhole. Even though we just exited through his gills. Yeah, that, that bugs me. Alright, if you ride the... He shoots a bolt out of it every so often. And if you ride the bolt up, you actually get to this platform with some music notes and a jiggy at the end. Do-do-do-do. Go. Oh, man. Alright, so we actually need to ride our way back down to Clanker here. Because the other thing about it is when he shoots the bowl out, come on, Clanker, there's a hole. And you can walk in. And this is another entrance to Clanker, but this is also like a secret room where uh, where the witch switch resides. And that raised the eyes of the Gruntilda portrait there, so we'll have to go check that out. So in here, you actually don't need gold feathers in here. These blades move slow enough for you to use timing. And they leave scratches on the floor so you can see where you're what you're dodging and when, but you know. Uh, this is an entrance to Clanker though, because if we head through here, we will end up back in his stomach. I'm calling it his stomach because that's his ribs in the bottom of the room. Uh, we're just gonna skirt over this way, I guess. Yeah, okay, so uh, there's one more thing above water that we need to do, and then I think the rest is underwater cleanup. Or at least the entrance to it's underwater. Yeah, so it's on the other side of Clanker. There is some more stuff around the edges of the level to get done. And then we, we go for another swim, and it'll be interesting. So right up here... There we go, there's a shock jump pad. And there's some, some kind of tricky jumps. Don't take these with Talon Trot. It's, they, they are tricky to make without the flat flip, and you can't flat flip out of Talon Trot. You have to rat a tat rap. And it's harder to control, just in general. So, better off doing it this way and playing it safe. There's some music notes and a mumbo token up there. Important things. So, we're going to take our dive underwater here. And, uh, just do some cleanup now. There's a lot of tunnels. This one's just a mumbo token? Okay. I guess I'm, I'm getting lost in the tunnels already. I thought that was... This This must be the tunnel. Yeah. You basically just go around the edge and go in every tunnel. Because there's stuff like Jinjos. Always have plenty of air, though. That, that's that's my one uh, that's my one little thing. Make sure you've got plenty of air. Go up for air. Don't don't risk it. You know. That's actually what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna surface and then dive again. So behind Clanker, there's another entrance. 
This is also really cool. This is cool stuff. This also is just a lot of personality. Now, this place is very much so like a sewer. It's a, it's a, it's a cavern, but it's very mechanical, so we can agree it's a sewer. So, um, they actually made a little cave for the meat. The Snippet Mutants are we? Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. So yeah, there are mutant snippets in like a radioactive cave here in the sewer. And that's that's kind of neat. It, it's, it's a more rareware personality, because not every sewer is radioactive. But that's kind of the thing, right? Chemical spill in the sewer. You know, Ninja Turtles and whatever other controversial things that may be going on. Speed and snippet mutants, we are we yours is prize. I, well, I guess turtles aren't controversial, no, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of like, oh, this is happening, that is happening, and whatever chemical spills are going on, you know. It going into the sewer is a legitimate thing. Um, so, you know, like, th this is another one of those rareware, like, tongue-in-cheek, oh, it's like a sewer, so let's... Let's make a little radioactive room, and I think just alone it's creative. Even if you take away the part where it's a sewer and whatever chemical spills, it's still like you wouldn't you wouldn't think okay, there's gonna be a level with a sewer area, and you're gonna go in. There's gonna be a giant shark garbage disposal, and then behind them there's gonna be some mutant crab things in a radioactive room. Like, Rareware is just genius to come up with that. I don't know. I I li really like this game. <laughs> That's every music mail, right there. Got every Jinjo. There's only a few more things to clean up, because we got every, um, whatchamahoozit as well. Every honeycomb. Um, I think we're moving to our last Jiggy as well? Over here, yeah. I'm actually going to surface before I do this. So to the left of the mutant snippets, there is a tunnel. And this tunnel is very long, so I, I suggest going in with full air as much as you can. Because you've got to swim in and out of this tunnel. This isn't like the Jinjo tunnel, where um, there's an exit on the other side and you do a little loop-de. This tunnel is this long, right? But when you come out to the other side, there's a jiggy behind a grate. So you've got to swim all the way back now. That's the level though. That is Clanker's Cavern. And that's really cool. I'm really glad how this has gone so far. You know, this episode I, I'm still explaining, most definitely, but I also get to gush about things. And just kind of discuss, like, hey, what is Clanker? Last chance, alright? You ready? He's got these fins. He's got weird boil things which suggest he's, he definitely is living. He breathes, his teeth hurt sometimes. He has gills and a blowhole. And he has a very shark physique. So if anyone anyone is a marine biologist or just an expert on this matter, let, let me in on what the heck Clanker is. Because last time I checked, you couldn't have gills and a blowhole. If there is a creature with that, then cool. I've been proven wrong, and that's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, this this level's fun. Like I, I I acted like it was the worst thing in the world. You can see where things can go wrong. There's a lot of deep diving parts where you just gotta hope. But at the same time, it's it's just a charming level. It's not a bad level. It's not a level you should hate. Um, no level should you really hate in this game. There are definitely some difficult ones. Clanker's Cavern is up there. But it's a good level. Um, I'm, I'm gonna check my totals. <laughs> that was almost real bad. I know I got all the notes, but yeah, okay, we got everything here. In the 21 minutes? Is the video actually that long? Wow, alright. Okay. That's okay. It feels like it hasn't been going that long. I, I've been having so much fun. Yes, your best note score for this world is now 100. All right, so there is some stuff to do here. Again, we're gonna wait on that because that's gonna happen. That that involves next episode. That's gonna happen next time. But there is something we need to do this time. So let's get our talent trot. We've actually got to head back to where we opened up Treasure Trove Cove and Clanker's Cavern one more time, because here the eyes have popped up. We ground pound them. 
And suddenly Jiggy. Oh, I was so close to getting that. Uh, when Tootie is a big ol' lump, I've just the frock to hide her rump. That has nothing to do with getting with Jiggy. That's just a line for being in Gruntilda's lair. So that's gonna that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we're gonna move on to the next world and we're gonna see what's in store. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.